Malaysian English Mai, formerly known as Malaysian Standard English Mies, is a form of English used and spoken in Malaysia. While Malaysian English can encompass a range of English spoken in Malaysia, some consider to be it distinct from the colloquial form commonly called Manglish. According to the English Proficiency Index, the average level of English in Malaysia is B1 on the CEFR scale. Due to the lack of use of English and the lack of English medium schools, which were phased out after the 1969 race riots, to accommodate English speakers, the language has been in decline since the 1970s. Varieties Malaysian English may be categorized into three levels, the acrolect, mesolect and basilect. The acrolect is used by those with near-native level of proficiency in English, and only a relatively small percentage of Malaysians are fluent in it. The acrolect is internationally intelligible, and it is used for official purposes or formal occasions and written communications. It conforms to standard British English, but some words that are specific to Malaysia may be used. The mesolect is a localized form of English that is used by competent speakers of English or as an informal medium of communication between different ethnic groups of Malaysia. It may use some colloquial terms, and its grammar and syntax may show some deviations from standard English. The basilect is used very informally by those with limited proficiency and vocabulary in English, and it has features of an extended pidgin or creole with syntax that deviates substantially from standard English. The basilect may be hard to understand internationally, and it is often referred to as Manglish, as with other similar situations, a continuum exists between these three varieties, and speakers may code switch between them, depending on context. Most professionals and other English-educated Malaysians speak mesolect English informally between themselves, but they may also use a basilect, depending on the circumstances. All three varieties may be seen as part of Malaysian English, but some prefer to see Malaysia English as a form distinct from the Baselect Manglish, which tends to ignore English grammar, while others may see the Baselect as the real Malaysian English. There is also no consensus on what standard Malaysian English would be. Some regard the Mesolect as substandard and a local dialect. Manglish Manglish refers to the colloquial, informal spoken form of Pidgin English in Malaysia that some consider to be distinct from more correct forms of Malaysian English. It exists in a wide variety of forms and primarily as a spoken form of English. It is the most common form of spoken English on the street, but it is discouraged in schools, where only Malaysian Standard English is taught. Its lexis is strongly influenced by local languages, with many non-English nouns and verbs commonly used, and it is significantly different grammatically from standard English. There are colloquialisms in English that are not common outside of Malaysia, which are also used colloquially as substitutes in other languages in Malaysia. In Manglish, Malay or Chinese grammatical structure may be used with English words, which is often done quite spontaneously, sometimes for comic effect. Features Since Malaysian English originates from British English when the British Empire ruled what is now Malaysia, it shares many of the features of British English. However, it also has components of American English, Malay, Chinese, Indian languages, and other languages in its vocabulary, pronunciation, and grammar. Malaysia English shows a tendency towards simplification in its pronunciation and grammar, a feature also found in other new Englishes. For example, in pronunciation, diphthongs tend to become monophthongs in Malaysian English, stops may be used instead of dental fricatives and the final consonant clusters often become simplified. There are six short monophthongs in Malaysian English, compared to seven in British English, and long and short vowels tend to have the same length for example, beat, and bit are homophones in Malaysian English. There are, however, slight differences in pronunciation in the states in the central and southern parts of the Malay Peninsula from those in the north and the east of Malaysia. There are also some variations in its vocabulary. Pronunciation Malaysian English is generally non-rhotic. Malaysian English has a broad S, and words like cab and Tab. Have rather than a. The T, in words like butter, is usually not flapped, unlike in American English, or realized as a glottal stop, unlike in many forms of British English, including Cockney. 
There is no H dropping in words like head. Malaysian English does not have English consonant cluster reductions after N, T, and D. For example, new, tune, and dune are pronounced N-J-U, T-J-U-N, and D-J-U-N. That contrasts with many varieties from East Anglia and the East Midlands of British English and with most forms of American English. The th fricatives theta and are pronounced as stops t for theta and d for the l is generally clear the diphthongs are monophthongized ow or o becomes o and i e becomes e grammar the grammar in Malaysian English may become simplified in the mesolectal and basilectal varieties. For example, articles and past tense markers may sometimes be omitted, question structures may be simplified, and the distinction between countable and mass nouns may be blurred. In the basilectal variety, omission of the object pronoun or the subject pronoun is common. The modal auxiliary system is also often reduced, and sometimes, a verb may be absent. The colloquial form often has Malay or Chinese grammatical structure. Particles are commonly used in colloquial Malaysian English, a notable one being an enclitic law used at the end of a sentence. Vocabulary In the acrolect, which is internationally comprehensible, non-English terms are still used, typically words for which there is no direct equivalence in English or those that express local reality, for example, bumiputera, kampong, as well as titles such as yang di pertuan agong and tungku. Words from the Chinese or Indian languages may also be used, such as ang pao or doti. In the mesolect, local words and phrases for which there are English equivalents may also be used like tita apa or ulu. In the base elect, the use of local terms may be extensive even if most words used are English, and local expressions or exclamations such as alamak often form part of the speech. Word usage In the first half of the 20th century, Malaysian English was similar to British English but spoken with a Malaysian accent. However, in the post-colonial era, since 1957, the influx of American TV programs has influenced the usage of Malaysian English. There is no official language board, council or organization to ensure the correct and standard usage of Malaysian English because after independence, Malay replaced English as the official language. The University of Cambridge Local Examination Syndicate continues, however, to set and mark the GCEO level English language. 1119 Paper, which is a compulsory subject for the Malaysian Certificate of Education, the English language paper set by the Malaysian Ministry of Education is the same as the English language. 1119. Paper for GCEO level. To a large extent, Malaysian English is descended from British English, largely because of the country's colonization by Britain from the 18th century. However, influence from American mass media, particularly in the form of television programs and films has made most Malaysians to be familiar with many American English words. For instance, both lift, elevator, and lorry, truck, are understood, but the British form is preferred. Only in some very limited cases the American English form more widespread. Chips, instead of crisps, fries, instead of chips, and diaper, instead of nappy. Words with different meaning in Malaysian English Some words and phrases used in Malaysia have different meanings than in British or American English. Words used mainly in Malaysian English Malaysian English has its own vocabulary, which comes from a variety of influences. Typically, for words or phrases that are based on other English words, the Malaysian English speaker may be unaware that the word or phrase is not used in British or American English. Such words are also present in the vocabulary of some continuums of Singapore Standard English. Many words of Malay origin have made it into the standard form of Malaysian English used in the media, literature and formal speech. 
For example, Mentari Besar Malay for Chief Minister, even has a plural form in English, Mentaris Besar. Syntax Syntactical differences are few although in colloquial speech. Shall and ought are wanting. Must is marginal for obligation and may is rare. Many syntactical features of Malaysian English are found in other forms of English such as British English and North American English. Can I come to? For. May I come to? Have you got any? For. Do you have any? I've got one of those already. For. I already have one of those. It. S your shot. For. It. S your turn. Phonology Officially, Malaysian English uses the same pronunciation system as British English. However, most Malaysians speak with a distinctive accent that has recently evolved to become more American by the influx of American TV programs, the large number of Malaysians pursuing higher education in the United States, and by the large number of English-speaking Malaysians in cities employed in American companies. For example, that increased the emphasis on are in words such as refer and world. Role of Malaysian English in independent Malaysia Even though Malaysian English is not the official language of Malaysia, it is still used among Malaysians in business. About 80% of urban businesses in Malaysia conduct their transactions in English, both Malaysian English and Manglish. However, American English has quite a strong foothold in international businesses in Malaysia. Malaysian English is also widely used in advertising sectors, especially commercial advertisements aired in private TV stations, primarily media prima TV stations. Plus, Malaysian Chinese and Malaysian Indian people have tendencies to speak in English instead of Malay when they are interviewed on television. In terms of education, private universities and colleges in Malaysia mostly use Malaysian English for their identities. Most of Malaysian companies and organizations have adopted their legal name in English instead of Malay to keeping up with modernization in recent years. In music industry, singers such as Siti Nurhaliza, Yuna and Reshmanu also perform songs in English. There are several English newspapers in Malaysia namely The Star, The Sun, New Straits Times and Malay Mail. There are also many English radio stations such as Hits.fm, Mix FM, Light FM, Fly FM, Trax FM and Red FM. However, Malaysia does not have any television station which broadcasts purely in English. The government national language policy requires local TV stations to air at least 25% Malaysian-made programs, either Malay or English. Some privately owned TV stations, such as TV3, NTV7, 8TV and Astro Hits, TV, do air some English-Malaysian-made programs. A few Malaysian-made TV programs in Malay carry English subtitles and vice versa. See also Singapore English British and Malaysian English differences Bahasa Rajak Regional accents of English speakers. References External links British Council Malaysia, English Language Development Manglish, for and against, should Malaysians speak Manglish or proper English? Common English Mistakes shows many of the mistakes made by Malaysians when speaking English and shows the true English equivalents.